morning everyone. I am so glad that you have tuned in to our Sunday morning snippet where we are starting a new series today continuing to talk about fear and this new series is called Monsters. We are going to look at different things that we may face that may bring fear, but God doesn't want us to be afraid, and we are going to look at someone in the Bible that can show us how we can overcome these different fears. But before we find out all about that, let's all enter into a time of worship.
Good morning and welcome back to our last week of the series, Monsters. Now, before we get right into all the things that we have been learning, I'm going to start today off with a story. So make sure you have your listening ears on and you are paying attention to this story. I think you will really like it. Are you guys ready? All right, here we go. There's an old story about a man who was dared to spend the night in a haunted house. The man was doing fine until about nine o'clock when he heard a knock on the door. He opened the door and saw a tiny monster on the front step, no taller than an inch. The monster asked him, are you going to be here when John gets here? The man flipped the monster away with his finger and he shut the door. An hour later, another monster showed up. This one was about waist high. Just like the first monster, the second asked the man a question. Are you going to be here when John gets here? The man said, oh, you're just a figment of my imagination. Then he kicked the monster off the porch and shut the door. An hour later, the door flew open and a giant monster walked right into the house. The monster walked into the kitchen, ate up all the man's food, and drank all of the sodas in one gulp. The monster turned to the man and asked, Are you going to be here when John gets here? The man said, If you're not John, I am gone. Now, we never find out who John is. We never do get to find out who John is. We don't know how big he is. We don't even know if he's a monster. But there's one thing that I do know and that we all know, and that is God is bigger than any monster that you will ever meet. He is bigger than any fear that you may have. You see, all this time we've been talking about those things that we're afraid of out there. Um, the monsters or the fears that we have inside, the fear of failure. Or maybe we're afraid of what's up ahead, such as the future and the unknown. Do you know what, boys and girls and moms and dads? God is bigger than any fear that we have. And He is always will be bigger than any fear that we, we have facing us. And I'm going to read to you today from 2 Samuel chapter 5, verses 1 through 5. So if you have your Bibles, and we're going to turn to two places today, you can get them ready. And again, that is 2 Samuel chapter 5, verses 1 through 5. And it says this, All the tribes of Israel came to came to David at Hebron and said, You are your own flesh and we are your own flesh and blood. In the past, while Saul was king over us, you were the one who led Israel on their military campaigns. And the Lord said to you, You will shepherd my people Israel, and you will become their ruler. When all the elders of Israel had come to King David at Hebron, the king made a covenant with them at Hebron before the Lord, and they anointed David king over Israel. David was 30 years old when he became king, and he reigned 40 years. In Hebron, he reigned over Judah seven years and six months, and in Jerusalem, he reigned over all Israel and Judah 30 three years. You see, David was chosen by God to be king when he was just a little boy. Do you remember the story when Samuel came to the house and anointed him to be the king? But before David could ever be king, he was going to have to face a lot of fears. I mean, after all, as a shepherd, he faced the lion and the bear. And then, as he became an adult, he faced a giant named Goliath. He faced thousands and thousands of Philistines in battle. He faced King Saul and his army, and who tried to hunt him down and kill him. 
He also faced the loneliness from running and hiding. He faced the fear that, well, maybe God's plan might never come true. And in the end, we know that David proved faithful to God. And God fulfilled the plan that he had for David. And I think if David were right here with us today, he would want us to be encouraged. And his message would be, God is bigger than any fear you have, any monster that you may face, any fear that you will ever have. God is bigger than that. If you remain faithful to him and you trust God, God will prove his faithfulness every single time. But we must put our faith and our trust in him and that will help you face whatever giants may be in your way those big things that you just think man i don't know that i can ever get past this you can with god's help he can help you to face those fear we can face him even with the fear of the unknown when we don't know what is going to happen we can trust god in that we can trust him even when we face our own self-doubt about ourselves that is why david wrote this passage in the book of psalms and this is psalms 27 and this is where we're going to get our memory verse from today and this is psalms 27 verses 1 through three and it says this the Lord is my light and my salvation who shall I fear the Lord is the stronghold of my life of whom shall I be afraid when the wicked advance against me to devour me it is my enemies and my foes who will stumble and fall though an army besiege me my heart will not fear the war break out against me, even then I will be confident. And what is it that can make us confident but our trust and our faith in God? There is only one kind of healthy fear. That's right. I am asking you to have only one kind of fear, and it's the good kind of fear that we're to have, and that is called the fear of the Lord. Fearing God isn't the same as those things that make us afraid, whether it's a fear of the dark or a fear of monsters under your bed or um, whatever, a fear of spiders, a fear of snakes, uh, a fear of heights, or those things that we face, um, a fear of someone getting sick and something happening to them. It's not that scary kind of fear that God wants us to have, but rather this fear the Bible talks about. It says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and it's the fear that we're to have, and it's a healthy fear because it is a love and a respect for God. That's what a healthy fear looks like, where we reverence Him, we respect God, and we have a fear of, and it's almost an awe of how big God is. And that is a healthy kind of fear that God wants us to have. Kind of like maybe you've seen your mom or your dad use power tools or a science teacher use chemicals, but what do they do? But they'll put on protective eyewear, maybe protective gloves. Are they afraid of that drill or that power tool or those chemicals? No, but they know that they have to use caution when using those things. That's how God wants us to be, to handle that fear of God, not out of, oh, God is so scary, but that fear of reverence and respect that, you know what, God is in control. He is a big, big God. He is bigger than all of my fears, so I am going to fear God and know and put all of my faith and trust in Him, knowing that He is bigger than anything I will ever face. And that's the title of my lesson today is Bigger Than the Monsters. And we know that God is bigger than any fear we will ever face. He is bigger than that fear of the unknown because we put our faith and our trust in Him. And guess what? God's plan always comes to pass when we put our faith and our trust 
in him. You can look in the Bible and see where this has happened. When we fear God, we are brave enough to face any challenge, just like the great heroes of the Bible. The Bible is filled with stories like David about men and women who feared God more than they feared man. For Esther, who faced the fear of death in order to defend her people, Israel. To Daniel, who faced a den of hungry lions. To Daniel, um, his friends, who faced a fiery furnace. Even to Jesus' disciples who faced being in prison, who faced torture and even death for their faith. The Bible gives us countless examples of people who overcame their fear with the power of God. That same God that was in the Old Testament and in the, in the New Testament is right here with us today and ready to be by your side and ready to help you overcome your fears and to give you victory. Don't let fear get the best of you. Always realize that your fear of God and your reverence and your love and your respect for Him, don't let other fears keep you from hiding or keep you hiding from things that God wants you to do. Give your fears to God and remember, God is bigger. And just like He did all those things for David and all those people in the Bible, He'll do the same for you. You just have to put your faith and your trust in Him. I'm going to read that verse one more time. Psalm 27, verse 1. It says, The Lord God is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Remember, boys and girls and moms and dads and whoever is listening, there's only one good kind of fear that God wants us to have, and that is a respect and a fear of the Lord. And we know that having that and our respect and our love for Him and putting our faith and our trust in God, He'll see us through whatever battle and He'll help us to overcome whatever fears we will face. Let me pray with you. Father, we're so thankful. Um, and as the past couple of months, we've been going over all the, the different fears, whether it's a, um, a fear of failure or a fear of those things that are before us, a fear of the unknown. We know that God, no matter what, a fear to try new things, a, a fear of pain and suffering, a Father, whatever it may be, those fears that we may face, God, you are with us. Help us to fear you. Of whom shall we be afraid when you are on our side? And we know that, God, you're bigger than any fear. You're bigger than any challenge we may face because you're on our side. So help us to have that that holy fear, that fear of God, that love and that respect for you. Help us to have faith and trust in you, God, knowing that you are in control and that you are with us no matter what we face. And just like you proved yourself faithful and David did become king, he faced many challenges on the road to the plans that you had for him. Just like we will face challenges, we will face fears, but God, we know that your plan, just like we learned last week, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future. And we know that our hope and our future is secure in you. So God, help us to have our fear and that respect of you, but that we won't fear all the things of this world and this life, but that we'll put our trust and our faith in you, knowing that you are in control, God, and you're bigger than anything we will ever face. And we thank you for it, for it's in Jesus' name we pray. And everybody said, Amen. Amen. Guys, no matter what you face, no matter what fear, big or small, that it may be, know that God is bigger than all of that. Put your faith and your trust and fear the Lord only this week and in the days to come and know that God is right there with you. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.